On today's lesson or tutorial over here, we are simply going to look at the production of hydrogen from water electrolysis. This is considered a green hydrogen because we are using a renewable source like water. Now to start, I'm going to use my Aspen simulator. I am going to go under components, add water, hydrogen and oxygen, also potassium hydroxide. The next step now will be to select a lac wizard and it's there to aid with the computing of water electrolysis. Once your lac wizard has opened up, you will see some various um, options there. It will first introduce you to lac wizard. The next step for us will just simply be selecting next. After selecting next, it will give you various options that you can select over there. We are going to um, specify that in our electrolyzer we are going to um, have water which is h2o and potassium hydroxide once you've done that you are going to select next once you're satisfied with everything now you can close your elect wizard the next step now will be for us to go to the methods and the methods we are going to select the base method of electrolyzer select next 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 until the file or the simulation runs and once everything has been computed meaning it has processed all the data that it has received now we can start with our simulation for our simulation we have two streams that are inlets the first stream will be water and an electrolyte solution of potassium hydroxide with a fraction of 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 the next step now will be to have pure water just entering our stream at hundred percent these two will mix at ambient conditions which is 25 degrees celsius and one bar after they've mixed together we are going to form mixer stream outlet number three this stream temperature is pretty low it's at 26 degrees celsius to increase it to 80 or roughly 93 you can use a heater a heat exchanger we are going to specify the temperature of our outlet stream in this scenario it will be 93 degrees celsius now we can introduce a reactor in this scenario here we selected the stoichiometric reactor what's going to happen here is that we are going to have to specify the stoichiometry of our reaction so you have to specify the balanced equation so we are going to enter that water which is the reactant is going to separate into hydrogen and oxygen in this case since water it's the reactant it will have the minus sign and the products will have the positive sign i did make a mistake there i um, wrote one is to one but else that was wrong i was supposed to write the balanced chemical reaction hence i had to go back and fix my equation after solving and you are happy with everything the last step now is to have a separator by the way the reactor acted as the electrolyzer hence now we are separating the products that were formed after water separated into its constituents for the separator we are going to specify that the top stream which is stream 6 is going to have 100% hydrogen and um, for Aspen simulator that's all you have to do versus with other um, simulators like DWSIM and COCO you might have to impute more information like the temperatures and pressures but here all we have to do is just to specify the outlet stream so we said here we want a 100% conversion of hydrogen because hydrogen is hard to handle um, we are going to decide to store this hydrogen in the form of ammonia so we have to react it with nitrogen I'm not going to show this here on the simulation but there will be various simulation that will come up after this particular upload stream 7 can now be recycled back into our system because it still has a lot of water or i might have to control some of my parameters these are just temperature and pressures the aim was actually to achieve a higher conversion of oxygen this was a very straightforward example i was just giving you an idea of if you wanted to use an electrolyzer on aspirin how you go about it um, feel free to ask more questions if you want more videos i'm definitely here for you Till next time. Bye.